was it almost a relief that you actually missed shots? <laughs> uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, you know, all those all the shots that I had, I thought were were good looks. Um, you know, they I was I thought I wasn't playing that bad, but you know, shots weren't falling. But other guys stepped up, so that's always good to see. You hurt your hand a little bit. Um, yeah, I. Uh, got my finger caught or like I kind of jammed it or like hyperextended it, but it's all good now. Which you talked a lot about controlling things you can control and mm -hmm. rolling with this whole crazy schedule and everything. Uh, obviously with Bobby, it, it kind of landed in your guys' house now. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how has the team handled that and, and what's your approach been now that you know it's this close? Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, you know, just being uh, extra safe now, um, knowing that, you know, it is in, in our team and, um, you know, other stuff like that. So, you know, sticking back to, you know, what we can control and, um, you know, just remaining safe as possible. So. You uh, either played with or against all of their guys. I mean, it's no new names there. Mm -hmm. I just talk about your experiences in Stillwater and some of the personnel. Um, Stillwater, it's always uh, kind of a rough game um, in terms of like records. Coach was talk uh, talking to us about that. Um, it's always a uh, you know, they're always amped to play this game when we go down there. Um, it's, it means a lot to coach, too. But uh, in the past years, we've been successful there once, I believe, and lost the other two times those years. Um, but it's definitely going to be a, a, a good challenge, a good road test just to start off the Big 12. Likely is always a big physical matchup. Mm -hmm. He's probably gone against him some. Uh, just mm -hmm. talk about defending him. Um, he's, a, he's a really different player in the aspect of, uh, you know, he plays creating for others. Um, He's not really the one to look to score, but he still can get his if he wants. Uh, he's still re really a dangerous player in um, in the game of, you know, their offense of their defense because he's a really good defender too. What advice? Going against Bryce, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's going to be exciting. Um, there's, you know, obviously we played Latrell earlier. Um, you now we have Bryce, and obviously we have Tristan. I think next Tuesday, something like that. Um, it's going to be fun, you know, playing against those guys. Uh, it's kind of like. Um, not, not, not any bad blood or anything, but it's just exciting to, you know, see uh, former Jayhawks, former teammates and going against them, you know, trying to, trying to get the best out of it. So. How about the, the, the past, uh, even though Stillwater hasn't been the easiest place, but overall Kansas has separated itself in the conference because they went on the road. Mm -hmm. Can you just talk about that philosophy or yeah. mindset that coach has that makes him successful? Yeah, I think it's I think it's a lot more fun to win on the road too. Um, honestly, I like playing uh, playing in the blue jerseys. Winning in the blue jerseys is is always fun. You know, coming back to a locker room, um, those wins are the most exciting. Uh, I believe you know my sophomore year we went undefeated on the road in Big Twelve, so it's just um, it's really special um, to do that, and you know, obviously trying to repeat that this year. That usually have a dance involved in it when you on the road. Some true? some sort of celebration or dance in the locker room after. Um, it, it's everywhere, every every place that we went at. It's there's always something in the locker mm -hmm. room that's that's always fun. So, who's the best dancer on the team? Uh, I'd say Bobby. I'd say Bobby is. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You got game and um, getting up there and shaking a little bit. A uh, little bit. I be I be dancing here and there, but not like that. Bobby, Bobby V, he's the best dancer, I'd say. Okay, have you talked, I know we ask you this kind of as the season progresses, but have you talked much to the young guys about making the shift from, from non-conference to conference play? Yeah, yeah. Um, kind of even before we were even talk of conference play, we had a little bit, uh, we had some preseason games left, um, you know, telling them that it is a different season. It's going to be amped up. Uh, you know, the guys that we're going against are um, – to the same athletic ability or as we have. Um, it's just going to be a challenge every night, you know, trying to score and defending, obviously. Uh, so, it's, so it's just the time to like turn it up to the next level. What is the biggest difference? And, and what do you tell those guys they need to really lock in on most? Scouting, scouting report. I think that's the thing that separates, um, you know, obviously teams from, from other teams in the conference because it is so tough and there's so much talent. Um, scouting report is, is something we need to really key on this uh this conference season how do you think you guys are at that? uh i think we're getting better um obviously you know you get better as as the you know as the game the games go but um you know really just locking in on who you're going to be guarding what they do um what their tendencies are stuff like that and you know ways to shut them down so obviously it didn't surprise you that jake cole stepped up and made those shots but does that 
kind of take pressure off me and CD a little bit, knowing that there's a guy that can, mm -hmm. you know, pull you guys up? Of course, yeah, yeah. You know, um, you know, we see it in practice all the time. J. Cole is uh, he's a, one of the best shooters we have, even the best shooter we have. Um, so it's really good to, you know, see him get going um, in that aspect. And it's also, you know, better for CB and I because it spaces the court, um, leaves another weapon out there uh, that teams have to, you know, guard and, you know, play to. He said the other day that the roles are becoming more clearly defined, especially for the bench guys. Yeah. KJ just a minute ago said he's comfortable with his role. Are, are you sensing that? You, you feel like guys kind of know yeah. what they are, what they need to be, all that stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing because, you know, KJ – KJ will get in there for, for two minutes at a time and um, give us uh, some energy that we didn't have, you know, at the beginning of the game or some spurts in the game. And um, that's his role. And he knows that's his role when he when he checks into the game. So it's it's good to to see the guys, um, different guys on the team and on our bench, know know what they're good at and, you know, stick to it. All right, Oach, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thanks.